talk to me about why you're jumping in this. And you know, you're getting a, you're, you're the first declared candidate literally the day after uh, Senator Cardin has announced he's, that he's not running. Uh, tell me why you're running for the Senate. What, uh, what draws, draws you to the race? Well, sure, you know, look, I'm a lifelong Marylander. We have a great state um, and Senator Cardin has served it admirably for the last 57 years in various roles. And so I want to thank him as I did yesterday and we all will be for a long time. And he's still got some, some juice in the tank for this last year and a half. But as I travel around the state uh, and certainly the residents I represent in Montgomery County, uh, they're struggling. Uh, many of them are uh, unsure if our democracy can deliver on some of the basic things that we thought were part of the American dream. Uh, a high quality education in every school district, uh, wages that paid a living wage, uh, affordable housing, uh, criminal justice reform. Uh, they want to know how are they going to make it to pay their bills. Uh, and I think in the context of a democracy that unfortunately some in our country subscribe to what I call the big lie, that if my neighbor does well, I have to do worse. That if we provide support uh, for an immigrant who's coming to our country seeking opportunity, somehow that lessens my quality of life. It's the opposite and I reject it. And I'm running now because we can and should and will have a shared prosperity in Maryland and across the country where everyone does well. And that's what I've done on the county council for the last five years, passing the first guaranteed income program in the state, providing over 300 families with $800 a month to meet their basic needs and relieve pressure, passing rent stabilization uh, and building more affordable housing and passing the first ever criminal justice reform uh, in the Montgomery County's history, which has been used as a model for the state. Um, as well as building more schools and providing adequate pay uh, for our teachers so our kids can learn. All of these are things that need to happen at the federal level. Uh, in my experience as a civil rights attorney, as a person in the Obama administration, a senior official working on Capitol Hill, and now as an elected official representing more than a million Marylanders, I think now is the time uh, to get that done and fill the shoes and push the work even further uh, in the U.S. Senate. Now, you likely will have a pretty bare knuckles primary here. You, you've got Angela also Brooks, the executive for Prince George's County, David Trone, uh, U.S. representative, uh, and others, uh, Representative Raskin could jump in this race. Um, how do you fare up against those candidates? Because that's, those are likely the ones that, are, that have been mentioned um, to jump in this sure. race. How do you feel about that? Well, look, I feel good about a bold progressive vision that again, at its core is pushing a back against this lie that we can't all do well together. I also represent more than 1.1 million Marylanders, uh, more than anyone else that, that you said in, in that, just in that lead in. Uh, I represent the most of the 6 million in the state. Uh, so I think this will be a race. It'll be about ideas. It'll be about who's gonna work and get around the state and talk to voters and have a clear vision. Uh, I think our vision is already resonating even today uh, because it's how I've tried to govern uh, on, on the county council to try to bring people together to solve the big issues. The status quo is not working for families. It's not working for Marylanders. It's not working for much of the country. Um, and we need to change that. And the Senate is a key lever. And so I think I put my record uh, and my accomplishments and my vision up against anyone who will run. And that's what the primaries are for. It's, it's a good democratic practice, practice, and I'm sure we'll have a big debate uh, and we'll have an, a, a strong candidate going into the general. Uh, but I think that'll be me, and that's why I was excited to jump in. Sure. And there's the specter of Larry Hogan possibly jumping in on the Republican side. I know he says, or at least he's told people privately, he doesn't want to run. The Republican Party's likely to put a lot of pressure on him. He's very popular in this state, as you know, a two-term Republican governor. Um, is, is there concern that if the right Democrat isn't chosen, that, that a Republican can take this seat for the first time in, in a very, very long time? So... Yeah, you know, the, the general elections um, uh, a long way away. I think this is a, a Democratic seat. It's going to be critical to maintaining uh, our majority and hopefully expanding our majority as Democrats in the Senate. Um, and I think in a presidential year, uh, Democrats will turn out strong in Maryland, regard whoever the nominee is. But I do think it's important that we have someone with a bold progressive vision uh, that is pushing a back against this counter narrative that will be out there, this lie that we can't all do well together. Um, and who has that record? And I, I believe that I do. 
And I think voters will respond to that. But uh, I think it's way too early to talk about who the Republican nominee will be and all that. I think this seat is critical to maintaining and expanding our majority in the United States Senate. And I think Marylanders know that. Uh, and in a presidential year, a lot will be on the line. And I think the country will know that. So this race will get the attention it deserves. Last question. You mentioned the 1.23 million voters in Montgomery County. Is that one of the main reasons that you're jumping in? Uh, because you do have, uh, you know, a name recognition in that county, and that county definitely comes out and votes. Is that one of the main reasons you're jumping into this race? Well, look, my main reason for jumping in is because I think I have a vision a bold progressive vision and put that pushes back against the counter narrative that we can't all do well together. But certainly I'm proud of my record of accomplishment serving the 1.1 million plus residents here in Montgomery County. Uh, and that's a good base of support. I think uh, I'm seeing, I'm hearing from a lot of them today, glad that I'm jumping in and they'll obviously be important in, in helping me and us be successful, but I'm going to get around to the entire state. I'll be in Carroll County later this week, given the democratic victory dinner, uh, up in Westminster, and I'm going to make sure that I talk to every voter across this state uh, and share our bold progressive vision that pushes back against this lie that we can't all do well. People want shared prosperity. They want a positive agenda, and I think that's what we'll tap into. But certainly I'm proud of my uh, the voters here in Montgomery County, and I think that'll be a good base of support for us.